is to see that other people don't understand that. And that's just my thinking. Yeah, they are extreme huntresses, but they paid for their extreme. How they have the money to be able to do things, and me, I don't have the money to be able to go on all these expensive hunts. I've never been on a guided hunt in my life. Watch him. Yeah. Um, no negative attitudes. Even if things aren't working in her favor, even if things aren't fair, she's got a great attitude. And that's what I like to see in a huntress because not everything is going to go your way. So I think she has room for some growth, a lot of growth. And she's learning a lot, especially on this hunt. Uh, but she's, she's definitely gonna get there. I feel excited and I feel honored. <laughs> Happy to be here. That was cool. Awesome. Well done. Thank you guys for all your help. Great handling that under pressure. I know, it's intense. It's really, really intense. <laughs> Today on extreme, so I don't know what, how I could be any more pleased, any more happy. I'm thankful, to the Lord, and I'm thankful for this opportunity for sure. So it was an awesome, awesome hunt. It was an awesome day. I couldn't be any more happy. So I appreciate Beautiful. it. Beautiful. Wow. Like, oh, look at this. I feel very, very good about where I stand with myself and how I've done in the competition so far. So I'm hoping for the best and uh, I feel good about it. Whether I win or not, I'm really happy with how it's gone for myself. So. After watching a little bit, I had a pretty good idea as to who's gonna blow that target up at 300 yards. All these girls are bow hunters, and so having to compromise their familiarity with, with a, a different weapon has reflected in their ultimate scores. 